So, I wanted to um, talk a little bit about Ho'oponopono, uh, and uh, which I've recently started to do. Mm -hmm. And um, Ho'oponopono is basically uh, the way I, I'm doing it at the moment. It can vary. It's like, dear Father, um, heal uh, the data or the memories in me uh, that have manifested fear. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Thank you. I love you, for example. And um, now, why I'm starting to do this, and I've known about Dr. Hugh Len for quite some time. He's very famous in spiritual circles. Mm -hmm. And I think um, um, I, I, do, I, I did a different variation of this, which I call cancelling beliefs, which for me has the same effect. Mm -hmm. You know, like I cancel... Oh. I, I cancel uh, my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Mm -hmm. And, you know, miracles and miracles happened, and, you know, um, kidney failure, gout, asthma, all those things left. But I also see that the Hoponopono is just equally a powerful method of uh, releasing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, I'd like to talk about it because it's more famous than cancelling beliefs. Like, mm -hmm. only a few people have heard of cancelling. Whereas, you know, it's part of popular culture, like a lot of people in spiritual circles have heard the very famous story of Dr. Hugh Len. Mm. And uh, there was a guy, I've forgotten his name, who wrote a book and uh, made from The Secret and made it. Joe Vitale. Oh, Joe Vitale. Vitale. Yeah. Joe Vitale. So it's become part of popular collective consciousness that... So Dr. Hugh Len did this Ho'oponopono. He got the files from a prison of, of a very... Um, seriously ill people in prison, I don't know, mass murderers or whatever they were, mm. in Hawaii or something. And he just did this process and the whole, every, all the prisoners got well and the prison closed down. This is a true story. Mm. By, 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 you know, this, this is a documented story, a very famous story of the power of a mystic clearing mm. his perceptions and his beliefs of mm. a whole prison and every, every, and this is a true story, it's documented, the whole prison shut down because everybody got well and left mm. after he did this process. Mm. So I think this kind of stuff needs to get out into the world. Yeah. Um, mm. Because, uh, and of course in miracles, is, is, well, it's reasonably popular, but it's still quite esoteric. It's a, quite a small thing in the world. And mm. Hoponopon is not, not a, a massive thing, but... You know, the Course does talk about the thing of like the whole world operates on magical beliefs. Science is just a lot of magical beliefs. Therapy mm. is just a lot of magical beliefs. Mm. You know, the real power is in spirituality. Mm. And spirituality is not like some, you know, every, people who are very ego-based, very scientific, very sort of atheistic in consciousness, sort of see spirituality as la-la land. Yes, having yeah. no, no power to do anything, you're just mm. up with the fairies. Mm. Yeah. But it's not practical, you know. Mm. They say, look, mm. you're just, you know, you're just, you know, just jumping around pretending to be an angel. <laughs> mm. You know, but it doesn't do anything, you know, just a bit. Well, but, you know, spirituality is extremely, it, it is in fact the most powerful modality if you know what you're doing. And mm. you tune into truth. I mean, there's false spirituality, you know. You know, there, I mean, there, there's also bad spirituality, or spirituality which is not really spirituality, but is like tuning you into stuff which isn't just not not good for you. What do you mean by false spirituality? Well, it's for false spirituality. I mean, you know, false spirituality would be voodoo. Voodoo oh. would be false spirit. It's no, not really no, spiritual. See. Black magic, which you know, certain types of witchcraft, cursing. Um, you know, uh, you know. I don't know, praying to demons. You know, you that know, would so. not be that spirituality, would it? Well, you know, I think there's a, about using spirituality in a broad, broad sense. You know, very mm. broad mm. sense. You know, so there's different vibrations. Mm. Yes. Uh, and you could say that the spirit, you know, you're accessing spiritual realms or non-physical mm. realms. Mm -hmm. But you know, you're you're accessing things, you know, realms and entities you don't want to be associating with. Yes. Um, uh, addiction is also a vibration that tunes you into negativity as well. Um, then you have like what I call nonsense spirituality, which doesn't really do anything. You know, it's like what could not. I mean, I'll probably get into trouble because it would be huge, huge swathes of people who, who, who I don't know. But um, <laughs> I hope, 
I should, maybe I should be a controversial person. <laughs> I, I, anyway, no, better not. You know, but I don't know. Probably like some of the things where you're just looking at a deck of cards. Is certain mm. decks of cards isn't that useful? Um, and um, and uh, and then, mm. but this thing, you know, like the Course in Miracles. You know, yeah. the Course in Miracles. You letting go of physical illnesses. That's not high in the sky. Um, you know, having an effect on others. Uh, Hoponopono. Mm. where you can clear out a prison full of uh, violently ill people. Uh, and so this is not, this mm. is not, and this, these are, you know, I, I'm living proof of the Course in Miracles and Dr. Hawkins' work of releasing illnesses. He is as well. Hoponopono is, is, has been documented. So there's huge power in accessing true spirituality at the high levels of truth. Has the power to... Now, now we're going to get into the stuff, you know, where you have the documented cases of saints, where, you know, like with Mother Teresa, someone with cancer, just being in the presence of Mother Teresa, and the cancer just uh, uh, going away. Mm -hmm. You know, and also this is documented in Indian culture with the cities. Mm -hmm. they, they have known in, in, for thousands of years in Indian culture that the Indian gurus, mm -hmm. you know, people get automatically healed, they have special capabilities. As you dissolve the ego, they can be in two yeah. places at once, they can levitate, mm -hmm. they be, they be, they, they're, they're connected to the universal oneness of mind. Mm -hmm. So all kinds of things uh, where what we understand, what scientists would understand and atheists would understand, you know, all those laws uh, or belief systems break down. But these are very high, uh, high levels of spiritual power which can for miracles, I mean, you know, I, this is, is of course it's one of those subjects where people can get a, a lot of um, heat about. But of course, you know, Jesus and the miracles that were performed, and the saints. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you know, these are all documented in both uh, Christian culture and also Eastern culture of the high power. So once you get in tune with these mir miracles, and of course we do a course in miracles, yes. and um, the twelve-step programs where people who die of addictions are at death's door, you know, of alcoholism, drug addiction, they just go to these programs mm -hmm. and then they, they become uh, sober for the rest of their life, you know, where, the not, where no therapy has been able to stop them mm -hmm. by surrendering to God, basically, mm -hmm. and getting the, that connection. So these are the things of miracles. Um, and I was, you know, I was once, a, you know, I studied biochemistry, um, I was a biotech analyst in the stock market. I mean, mm. so I'm, I'm well aware of the scientific and the atheistic uh, poo-pooing of spirituality, but there's great mm. power. So this video is like, um, I just wanted, I wanted to do this video because if you're going to do counseling of beliefs or ponopono, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you can heal by just clearing your perceptions or your beliefs of what's going on in the world, you're clearing your own internal perceptions. Yeah. And here, here's the thing. Uh, now, for me, there's two major spiritual pathways, and you can mix them both up. There's the pathway of service, and there's the pathway of the mystic. The pathway of service is like, um, it can be many things, but it can be like, you know, I'm going to go and see, I'm going to devote my life to feeding the poor. You know, mm -hmm. that could be a pathway of service. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to start up a soup kitchen, I'm going to open the doors, and I'm going to, I'm going to charity fundraise and feed the poor for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. That would be like a pathway of service to God, which is a valid way. Yes. It's a valid mm -hmm. pathway. But, it's, but you know, I, I personally, this is my preference, is the pathway of the mystic. You know, uh, and you can, you can mix the two pathways up together, that's fine. The pathway of the mystic is just clear my perceptions. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not going to go out and tell everybody try and change everybody or save everybody. Mm -hmm. I just want to clear my perceptions of what I see is wrong in the world mm -hmm. as my way. But that has great power to, to affect the world. You, you, you know, usually your mother won't, you know, if you're just sitting in your room clearing your perceptions, your mother won't be happy. You know, your friends will, won't be happy. Mm -hmm. you'll, get no, you'll get no kudos from the world because you're just clearing what you see is wrong in the world. But actually, you know, I would say with Joe Fatale, just doing that, just sitting, I, I'm assuming, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but he, he just had the files of the prisoners, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You know, this one's an axe murderer. This one strangled his kid. You know, this one shot a policeman. And he just cleared the data. Mm -hmm. He forgave them. He, this is just a perception that he has to clear that there's any unforgiveness or any wrong or anything that happened here that was wrong. And as the data cleared from him, then the miracles happened, the whole prison cleared out and got well, you see. He didn't actually go there and, and give them therapy or hug them or told them they were good people. He just cleared his perceptions of what they were without meeting them or trying to save them. Mm -hmm. So this is like what I call the, the mystic. Mm -hmm. You know, a, lo a lot of people do spirituality. I'm not saying, I'm not advocating, but this is my one. I love the pathway of the mystic. Mm -hmm. So I'm just advocating that. I'm not saying that it's better or worse than any other pathway. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to go and save the world. You can just sit in your living room and clear your perceptions mm -hmm. of what you see as is wrong in the world. Mm 